Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Capricorn. How are you? Capricorn singles, let's see what your energies are this week. The Capricorn singles. Ooh. Okay, the crossing. Someone's going to initiate something here. <laughs> Beautiful energy. Yeah, just what you want to see. Someone is about to initiate. Could even be yourself. Yeah, I see closing one door, opening another. So it's an energy of, of closing something out here. But I do see that door is going to be open for someone else. Yeah, very, it could be a person too who could be closing something out. And I see the Divine Feminine. Beautiful. Yeah, I feel like you've got a person who's going to initiate here. Unless you're the masculine, and then I would kind of get the vibe that it would be yourself here. Yeah. But make sure things are closed out. I see a few obstacles here, so with a five. But I do see change coming. Beautiful energy. And there we go. little sad energy. It's an energy of someone just kind of checking you out or taking a little pause. It's an energy of trying something different. So someone here is about to try something different. They could be different than your usual type. I see some kind of truth, success, or someone coming up with an idea. So this is somebody coming up with an idea. If you are going out and socializing with this energy, try wearing something different, going someplace different. Okay, that's what I feel this is energy is going to be about. But yeah, you, you've got a person here who's just kind of checking things out. They're going to try something different. And I do feel they will be different than your usual type. It's a person aiming for victory and success. I see you know, Eight of Cups. Is someone searching? Yeah, someone has left. Someone is seeing the truth. There's something off with another person. And they're coming towards you. This person could actually be your type. Or there's, you know, I love this. Because it's an energy of someone leaving something behind. They're seeing the truth. And I do feel they're searching for someone here. Wow. Yeah, we have a person manifesting here. Lovely energy. Mm -hmm. We have all the tools, the information. There's going to be a communication. It's someone who's ready. It's a person who has everything they need to manifest it. And I feel this is a message for yourself, too. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> something, I mean, you could feel something is off with this person when they initiate it, but I actually feel it's telling you to just kind of you know, see what happens, see where this goes. Because I actually feel this is an energy of two people looking for the same thing. Two people who want the same kind of energy. But this is about the divine feminine. I feel this is someone just checking you out. Yeah, you've got a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now this could be masculine. You know, the masculine, you could be a Capricorn. Okay. But I see the Gemini, the Sag energy, a little Cancer energy. This person's determined to have success. Now, this is sometimes a person who puts on the brake and takes another look, so they could be around you. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is possible, too. It's an energy of someone who maybe just put on the brakes here because they were walking away from someone else. But I, this person's determined. They are, they're not ruled by their emotions. They're a very sensible person, very practical, very grounded. Yeah, this person's feeling pretty enthusiastic, but you can see it's an energy of someone who possibly uh, felt overwhelmed with someone. I do feel we have a person who's closing out a cycle. They're closing, completing something. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be where you just happen to be someplace and this person kind of, you know, takes a little look here. <laughs> But it's definitely someone here I feel grounding themselves. It's an energy of someone who's feeling pretty enthusiastic. Yeah, it's about taking something to the next level. So someone didn't take a situation to the next level. They took off in the other direction. But this is a person who's going to approach you. And they're feeling pretty good about it. I really feel this is positive. Yeah. So you trust your intuition, your inner knowing. You might even know who this is. But it's an energy of someone who's at a crossroads or at that time in their life. It's about, you know, choosing. This is someone choosing their path or closing something out. They may have rushed into a situation with someone only to find out that, you know, something was off. It wasn't right. 
you might know them but i do feel this is someone who's you know a little pisces energy a little cancer energy Ooh, let's see where this goes let's see what pops up here let's have a look at that whoops i just threw those bad shuffle temperance when tempering their passions emotions definitely a person being patient yeah it's an energy of a physical attraction it's when somebody just puts on the brakes and looks at somebody and checks them out that's what this is mm -hmm. they're going to keep this to themselves at this point too but they are feeling uh, very enthusiastic but this is definitely a person who i feel uh, at some point here put on the brakes See, before they approach you. So this is someone who wanted to and I feel never did because I feel they needed to close something out. So there we go. Yeah, you got a person seeing the truth. Victory, success. This person's coming up with an idea. They're planning something here. Yeah, they've definitely left something behind. Uh, I feel it's just that, that spontaneous moment where somebody... <laughs> you know finds himself attracted to someone here this is a pretty good chemistry i feel too yeah somebody here definitely works a lot but they want to build they're perfecting their craft and skills yeah i feel this is someone who walked away from a situation that just wasn't working they put a lot of work into it yeah but something was definitely off let's have a look at this yeah i mean some of you could even be choices here Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So Capricorn, you could be the masculine here. Yeah. So someone definitely thinking things through. It's a person who's rushed into a situation before and changed their mind. So this is where I feel this is someone definitely kind of looking at the situation, assessing it in a really big way, though. Yeah. Tell me about this king of... It's a person choosing their battles is something worth fighting for. But you can see this is someone here who's kind of looking at something that's happened that they've left behind. But I feel this is somebody here who's, you know, um, this person's just not the one. It's it's like I see, they it's just not working. It's not emotionally fulfilling. I also feel they do work a lot. Yeah, this is definitely a crush kind of energy. It is a person longing for love, but I do feel it starts out just as a crush. They're thinking it through, choosing their battles here. They have all the tools. They have everything they need to manifest their desires. But I actually feel some of you could you could be manifesting this yourself. Yeah. So the feminine here, maybe a little Pisces, Cancer energy. If you are the feminine, you're coming up as the Queen of Cups. If not, you're the King of Pentacles. But yeah, it's definitely a crush. <laughs> Mm hmm but it's an energy of someone longing for love and i do i mean maybe it's yourself here if you are the feminine you know longing for love here but it's also i feel yourself here not rushing into a situation but it's an energy of i feel two people going to manifest each other but i feel it's to saying to think things through choosing your battles whether this is something worth going after see somebody was chasing somebody here going after them and only to find out that it was too much work and if yourself too, like you could have some of this energy where you put a lot of effort into something here, into a situation, and it could be yourself closing something out. Mm -hmm. Take it as it resonates, but someone's about to initiate. Let's have a look at that, the crossing. The crossing. When weighing the pros and the cons, should I or shouldn't I? Could be someone comparing someone to a person in the past that they've closed out. But I feel with this energy, the feminine energy here is definitely looking at this, you know, this crush, this longing for love. Could be someone you knew a long time ago. You might know who they are. But I do see a crossroads, a choice. Some of you have a choice. I do see this King of Pentacles twice, which is interesting. But somebody has some sad energy. And maybe that's what you're looking at, closing that out, leaving the past in the past. So it very well could be the feminine. Let's have a look at this closing door. Some of the readings sometimes are difficult. Yeah, very strong sad energy in this reading. So it's a person who's hard to pin down. It's a person who's a bit of a free spirit. 
But I gotta tell you, it's an energy of someone coming in, trying something different. They're coming up with some kind of creative idea. They want to start something. And they do want it to be successful. They're planning, preparing, putting a lot of effort into it. This is something worth working for. It's worth going after. But that back and forth. Now, I don't know if it's yourself or this person comparing, or you have two people and you're comparing them, or they are comparing with you. So, yeah. Wow. Let's have a look at the six of... Yeah. Oh, six. This is the, the Knight of Panic or Knight of Wands. Pardon me. My brain... Yeah, see, it's an energy of two people putting on the brakes, taking another look here. But it's also an energy of not two people, neither one being controlled by your emotions. So this is a, a actually really positive, very emotionally mature here. It could be a single parent energy too. Some of you could have someone you don't see long term because they are a single parent if you have a choice between several people coming in but the, there's definitely an energy of closing out a door completing the situation leaving something in the past you know, i see an energy of someone being a little cautious here it's a person keeping some of their feelings to themselves being a little cautious careful what they wish for i feel like you might know who this is but it's telling you to just trust your intuition yeah see making choices in love here i feel there's a choice you might know this person. It's possible this is someone who chose somebody only to find out it was too much work or it wasn't working out. So I do feel there's a person going to reach out here. And I, I definitely don't necessarily feel for everybody that you know who this is. And it could be you have several choices here and there's someone here you may know and someone you may not. But it's telling you to trust your intuition. I see love. I see a strong Gemini energy here this choice and love it's an energy of two people who build each other up but i feel like we have someone who's approaching and they're cautious they're being careful what they wish for <laughs> yeah the divine feminine oh yeah this is something the cosmic womb there's something happening here it's a it's in the heart of the reading the cross yeah this is a person who sees this is a person who knows a good thing when they see it But I feel it's an energy of not chasing. See, some of you may have chased somebody at some point, And then you put on the brakes, the feminine. And then the masculine here is definitely, like I say, it's a crush. It's someone keeping things kind of simple. Someone who's longing for love. But it has to do with a person looking to see if someone has other options. If they're seeing anyone else. This is a person who's fantasizing, see, romanticizing here. It's a person who's longing for love, but they're cautious. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Yeah, see, it's energy of a person just kind of being patient here, hoping this pays off. So they're going to be the one to approach you. They're the one approaching you. So they're going to approach cautiously, because I feel this is someone who's not sure if you are seeing anyone but I do feel this is a person who often gets chased. I do feel they get chased. But I feel this is someone who's definitely perfecting their craft and skills. They're focusing more on work. And I mean, you might know who they are. That's why I feel it's almost like someone you knew a long time ago who focused on work. They may have rushed in and possibly changed their mind. Very strong Gemini here too. But they're definitely someone who's thinking things through, choosing their battles. Yeah, it's a person healing. This is someone healing from their past. Clearing things up, clearing things out, getting ready to manifest new. This person's around you in some way, but they're someone who sees the possibility. They're looking at how this can play out, so they're being very cautious before they approach you. It's, I feel they just need to know, you know, if you're connected to anyone. But as far as those of you who are Capricorn masculines watching this, there's this crush. It's saying just keep it simple. It's an energy where someone shows somebody. They, someone's trying to get someone's attention. It's an energy of someone trying to get someone's attention. But I see a person's pride and ego too. Yeah. 
I don't feel like you're chasing anyone here. I feel like the feminine, you're just kind of, I feel like you want love. You're longing for love. You could be missing somebody or just reminiscing about a past situation yourself here. Often people do that when they're about to manifest new. You might be comparing this person to someone else. They're very much the same. So that's where I kind of feel. It's like two people who are the same, but yet one of them is different. So just trust your intuition. Uh, one of them could be on the cusp, Gemini, Taurus cusp. Somebody here has got heavy Sag in their chart. Yeah, I, I feel it's an energy of that breaking free. I feel some of you are breaking free from the past. You're the one I feel. I mean, it could be this person coming towards you. They could be moving away from a, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio for that matter. Cancer or Pisces, it's very possible they're breaking free. Yeah, their energy of someone moving on to avoid a disaster, but they're taking the lessons they learned. They're coming in to take control. This, you know, this is a really interesting read, but just, I mean, you know yourself if you've been reminiscing about past while you've been healing. See, it's an energy of someone pinned down by their thoughts, but yet it's a person who's taking a break. Now, some of you maybe have taken a break to kind of get over a situation while you close out this cycle and break free, but it could be this person breaking free from another person who's been chasing them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Moving on, taking lessons learned, just someone waiting for things to kind of calm down. Yeah, so whoever they are, they're coming in to take control. They're waiting for the right opportunity, the timing. They're hoping this pays off. Oh, yeah, you've got somebody. They got some cancer in their chart. Oh, yeah, we've got a person here who's feeling here, Capricorn. I actually feel like you've got love coming in, but if you have been focusing on the past and healing or just taking a break from dating altogether while you close something out, it's possible this person is as well. But I, what I love here is it has, it could be someone at a distance too. I see travel. I do see someone coming up with an idea, some kind of an idea. They want to build. And I do see an adventure, some kind of trip, doing something together. Two people going to get to know each other here. So it's a person who's gathering info. They're trying to find something out here. A little bit of a mystery, a secret, whether you're connected to someone too. Very interesting. Yeah, but it's a person that, you know, uh, and there is actually two King of Pentacles energies here. So some of you have connected with someone who was a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And you're healing from it, I feel, if you're a feminine watching this. But look at this King of Cups. There's something that's similar between the two of you. But they're very patient. They're patiently waiting, hoping something pays off. They're going to approach you cautiously. And it's also an energy of being patient. So if you've been very patient, or this person's been patient waiting for you to get over something, they're coming in. It could go either way. But look at that Seven of Cups. This is someone who sees opportunity. They know a good thing when they see it. Yeah, it's an emperor, emperor here. You got an emperor. Somebody with, uh, they could be a Taurus. They could be a Cancer, a Pisces. Uh, they could be a Virgo or another Capricorn. Strong Gemini too. But that Sag energy, that's what I feel like you're breaking free. I do see the energy of free spirit, but I also see trying something different. I don't know if it's outdoorsy, traveling, going somewhere. But this is that there's energy of some kind of obstacle that this person's trying to overcome. Now, I don't know if they work a lot or what, but you've got an emperor coming in here. Let's have a look at that. The emperor. Who is this? Someone who's been checking you out. Someone taking a pause. Yeah, it looks like Pisces. It doesn't have to be, but they're checking you out. They're also somebody who's mature. They're very capable of putting the shoe on the other foot. They're someone who looks to see how the other person feels. So I feel this is someone who knows something. Because they're gathering info. They're ready to manifest. Having all the tools, the information before they start something. Very good at manifesting money. Definitely a hard worker. Very capable. 
person, I feel it's also an energy of, this is someone who actually brings something to the table. So I feel this is someone who can, was uh, wa uh, walked away from someone who didn't bring anything to the table. They were too much work. They had to do all the work. But I feel it's inter interesting because I feel the Queen of Cups is here, someone who's put a lot of effort into something. See, that didn't work and you're putting it in the past. So there's some reminiscing, but I feel it's an energy of two people longing for love. I feel like you're going to connect with this person. I don't know if you're planning a trip or going somewhere, but I feel this person's coming up with an idea. Now, the idea could be an excuse, offering work. <laughs> Yeah, but it really looks like it's an energy where they're searching for something. Could be somebody searching for work, traveling. You might meet somebody who's coming into your town, um, who's been, you know, traveling or travels for work, or they're searching for work. But it could be an idea, an excuse often to connect with someone. Yeah, there's all kinds of energies. But this is someone who's definitely been... You know, taking a little pause, checking things out. They're assessing the situation. You know, they want to date. This is somebody who wants to date. <laughs> they're going to ask you out. This is the action they're going to take. So they're they're very they're they're being careful. But this is somebody who wants love. They'll never tell you that they're you know I'm looking for love, longing for love. <laughs> but it looks as to me like they've closed something out. It's like both people healing. You're going to have something to talk about here. There's no doubt. Yeah, teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. It's a person at a crossroads, a time in their life. It could have to do with someone who's just, like I say, looking for other work or starting something here. But I, I feel they're going to ask you out. They been, It looks like they've been checking you out. And they see the possibility. They're looking at all the possibilities, how this will play out. They're planning and preparing ahead, putting a lot of effort into something here. Let's have a look at that Two of Pentacles. I, I don't feel like you know who this is. But if you have two people, you'll know one. And that's where I feel closing it out, healing. Let's have a look at the Two of Pentacles. Why is this here? Ooh, Capricorn, yeah. See, something feels off. This is where something feels off with someone. But I, and that's why I feel some of you've got two, where something is off with one. You are, I feel, Capricorn, you're the one who's comparing. You're the one who's going to compare. You're looking at this past person that you've broken free, that you've healed from. And some of you have taken a date from, um, a break from dating, but so is this person. So it looks like you're going to compare them. See, something is really off with someone and something is just right with someone else. Because they are coming in right, but you can see this person being, there's an energy of someone who was enthusiastic. See, it's an energy of putting on the brakes. Some of you have put on the brakes. And then you've got this person who's coming in, not in ruled by their emotions like yourself. So there's a level of emotional maturity here. But yeah, I mean, this is a, you got an emperor here. This is definitely someone who's, yeah, and the empress. This is someone asking you out. I feel like you're going to be open to this. This is going to be the start of something new, the divine feminine. This is someone who's looking for someone who's very nurturing, um, I mean, it could be single parent energy, blended family, but I definitely can see the feminine healing and ready to manifest new, closing something out, completing it, moving away, taking the lessons, emperor and empress, both learning lessons. But you've got this person in the meantime, gathering info. So they either are someone around you, they know something, but this person's got an idea and it's a win-win situation. <laughs> In, I mean, they're very creative. It's a passionate new beginning. So I, I do see this energy of a person being quite creative. I mean, that could be something you have in common is creativity. The three of pentacles are here. The things you bring to the table, the things you have in common. This is two people who lift each other up, build each other up. So it's what you bring to the table, your skills, you see, the things that you both um, bring to the table. So this is, I, I feel like you both got, you're going to get something you want. Yeah, I see a connection. I actually feel friends first. 
Now, some of you, I have to be honest, you may actually have a friend who's starting to catch feelings and they've pulled back. Someone who's been looking for the one, they're always searching for the one. This is an interesting read, but I say I see a lot of enthusiasm here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. See, getting off an emotional roller coaster, end of a cycle. See, closing that out. Something is complete. And now I see this new adventure, but I feel like this person is definitely, and I do feel like if this person comes in, they're going to be similar to someone else, but they're different. They're not. They're not the same. There's something different about them. So it's saying to kind of explore this, explore this connection, take a little time to get to know them. You might be surprised. Yeah, they could be someone traveling for work. That's what I kind of feel that, yeah. Or if the, the idea is something to do with work. <laughs> Or do you work with somebody here who's just a friend who's catching feelings? But yeah, I, I mean, the Empress is here. I see you being open to dating. I see this. I mean, have you checked both checked each other out? Because I, I, I feel like you've got things in common. Creativity, the things you have in common. You're both at that time in your life, a crossroads. Yeah, this is actually really interesting. I, I feel like I love that this cycle's over, the healing. But you've got this person crushing or you ha or you have a new crush. But I actually feel it's like both. I mean, there's something you both have in common. No, I don't know if there's this person or you both know this person that you were with that you're closing out. It could be someone who's kind of just held back, patiently waiting for you to heal so they can come in. Yeah, this is a nice energy, though. Yeah, I really feel with the Empress, this is the birth of something new. It's all going to start with the date. See, manifesting, mirroring. You both have absolutely everything you need to manifest love, your desires here. It's an energy. I feel like you both checked each other out. You're manifesting each other. So I'm just going to leave that. Let's see what the outcome is. This is really nice. Yeah, I see some kind of an agreement. See, it could start with work, a contract. Uh, some kind of an agreement here. It's going to start with a work situation, possibly. Or some, I feel, almost looks like somebody is looking for work. See, moving, possibly even relocating. Yeah, I like this energy. But I feel this is like the sacred coven, covenant. It um, kind of reminds me of the, the Hierophant, but it's an energy of someone figuring things out. They're looking at the facts of the situation. Yeah, the drifter, experience it as it comes. This is somebody who travels. This could be someone who's traveling, thinking it's time to settle down. But it's somebody who's been kind of, you know, drifting along. I feel maybe going from place to place for work. But whoever they are, they're actually at that emperor energy. They're stable financially. They're somebody who's ready. See, they've closed out a cycle as well. It's an energy of someone who's no longer interested in dating anyone else. That's what I feel. Yeah, there it is. Being at the right place, the good luck and right timing. Yeah, whoever this drifting along energy is interesting because I don't feel like this person's a drifter because they work. They're not somebody who has nothing. Um, they're an emperor. Uh, they're stable financially. They bring something to the table. They have a lot of skills. Um, and I actually feel both of you. So I, I feel this is just really good luck coming towards you. Capricorn, Cap. Very strong Sag. I almost feel like there's, you know, a, a masculine energy with Sag. And I actually feel like maybe you've dated somebody with Earth and Sag. This person's similar, but yet they're different. And they're going to, they're trying something different. This is a unique situation, maybe a little eccentric, but there's something very unique. But it's like you both are feeling the same about this. This is what's so interesting um, about the two of you. This friendship, this love, this bond, this connection. See, it's two people going to get to know each other and form a bond here. It's a very special bond. Um, 
But really watch out for somebody who just wants friends with benefits, unless you agree to it. I do see some kind of an agreement. But I really don't feel like that's the case for most of you. Some of you may be into that kind of thing. But I really feel like you've got two people. One is your past left behind. This other person coming in, they're very similar to the point where you're kind of pulling back and like, well, wait a minute. Because <laughs> I see the comparison where something just fe doesn't fe it feels off. Yeah, because it's about avoiding a disaster. But I actually feel if you look at this person, they're definitely much more mature. You know, they're definitely more stable, more practical. Definitely very creative. Let's have another look at this King of Cups before I wrap this up. Oh, Capricorn. Yeah, so this is an energy of guarded. See, it's an energy of something taking you off guard where you feel a little guarded. Let your guard down a little bit. This person's not the same. They're not the same as that person. They, they, their intentions isn't to rush in and rush out. No. Yeah, it's that energy of being careful what you believe. See, being very cautious. Maybe you're going to be not sure. Yeah, a little guarded defensive. So, yeah, I, I really feel like you've got, uh, if you can let your guard down. And this person too, it's two people letting their guard down. But I, I feel like you, you have that common energy too. So, you know, you're both being cautious, careful what you believe. Sometimes it feels too good to be true. But yeah, it has to do with a house and a home. There's a reason to celebrate. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. It's an energy of someone who stands up to someone. This person will stand up for you. They'll look out for you. But I do feel it has to do with mutual energy where you both need to let your guard down a little. I think this person might take you off guard a little bit too. Catch you off guard or it's catching them off guard. Yeah. But I definitely feel that closing out and that whole new cycle. You know, trust your intuition. See, it's here, both of you being very intuitive, trusting your intuition. It's very powerful. This is about two people letting your guard down, showing your innermost selves. That's that energy of the mystery. Yeah, it's about, if you want this to be successful, you got to let your guard down a bit. And they do too, um, because it's there's a mutual energy here. Just trusting your inner knowing. It's, like, it's almost like you just know, <laughs> both of you. Mm-hmm. Into me, I see two people going within here and just sort of looking at this situation. This is a very positive, a reason to celebrate. I mean, it has to do with investing and being patient. See, if you can be patient, let your guard down and just kind of whatever you do, if you because I feel you've checked each other out. If not, it's them checking you out. But, you know, take those lessons learned from the past. And I feel it's an energy of being patient. And letting the guard down. Don't push this person away. You could miss an opportunity. Because they're just kind of swooping in. Like I feel, they're kind of just swooping in out of the blue where it kind of is going to catch you off guard. So you're getting a heads up. <laughs> Now's the time to release anything that no longer serves. See, it's too good to be true. Where it's just catching you off guard. It's like, this is actually really interesting read. The... You know, there's a lot of, there's fire here. And it's, if you watch the, the Sag reading, who else do we have? And possibly Aries reading um, may give you a bit of a clue because those readings are somewhat similar to this. I mean, the energy is just so um, positive, but I love that there's these dual cards because that tells me you're both feeling the same. You're both ready for something different, trying something different, but it has to do with this person initiating. See, this is yourself. Maybe you're used to initiating. Your The feminine is the initiator, where the masculine is going to be the initiator. Because it looks like this is someone who gets chased. They don't usually have to initiate. Well, they're going to. But I feel they're going to come in so enthusiastic, it's going to make you think they're like this person you've let go, but they're actually not. This is someone who comes in, they're respectful. They also know their worth and value, but you've got a beautiful mutual energy. In fact, these two people might have even known each other. So 
it's possible with that energy that's my mutual energy but yeah it's an energy where you both just know this could be the one see i feel this could go in both of your favor it's a win-win situation and it could have to do with work it may start with work because it almost looks to me like for some of you this is actually a friend or someone you work with or you've done work for them yeah or they worked with someone you know that you left behind too so yeah very nice energy though fortune's wheel whole new cycle luck and right timing the timing is really good yeah see this is a single this is for both of you it's gonna whatever it is it's gonna work out for both of you so i do see a possibility of some kind of an agreement but this is a person who's ready to settle down there's that energy of the single energy two people enjoying the fruits of their labor i think the single life is over Somebody is definitely, yeah, see, now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. I don't think you're going to be single much longer, but it's your choice. I do see the possibility some of you just want to live alone. You just want to be friends, friends with benefits, do things together, travel together, companions, being companions. So this could be somebody offering companionship. A trip to do things but i've got to be honest i almost feel like they have an ulterior motive where they actually want to settle down so yeah very nice it's up to you to decide but whatever that closing out is uh, release now's the time to release anything that no longer serves you so if you are guarded or defensive or you have a tendency to push people away because you feel they don't always have your best intentions let your guard down a little okay but definitely, if there is two people, definitely be, there could be a situation that doesn't serve. Okay? But I actually feel that for the feminine, there's someone here you can see a future with. Definitely not this energy here. That's the healing. Yeah, because I feel like you're just ready to manifest new. But you've got this person who's kind of been like, I feel just waiting on the sidelines, waiting ever so patiently. So take care and we will see you soon.